which up there okay 5g just doesn't work 2.4 g is good air i don't know we have a little extender over down here and here is the room we got a nice light up over here i think that's how the switch does there we go um here is the room this is a two doubles room with a i want to call it a kitchenette it doesn't have a stove though so let's look over here first you have your hand soap maybe dish soap dish soap Ew, this micro oh i gotta wipe Ooh, that could be cleaner i'm gonna go gonna go wipe that down i really don't want to open any i'm opening these with my pinky okay so you got some plates uh, walmart plates i had these in my college room some glasses one wine glass coffee maker it's uh looks like it you know hasn't been used in a while sink Ooh, good pressure hot cold down here we have oh we have a toaster a whatever that is a uh, drying rack rack a nice large fridge with a f holy jesus well then um gonna turn that down to five actually that probably wasn't a good idea i'll probably fix that yeah you can see the uh, tiles and the ground and all that stuff um here's the room uh you can see it's actually upgraded um, the owners put their own beds in there and everything. Uh, those two waters are mine. This isn't a Hilton. They don't give you free water. These, those two are mine. They give you a beach towel, uh, as well as for each day you're staying, one pool bracelet. To this place has, they advertise 17 pools. I don't know if that's correct or not. I've only seen five or six. That's still a lot. They have lazy rivers, four restaurants, all that. You have a nice lamp here, which works. Drawers, ooh, smells new. Nice upgraded Samsung bezel list. What I assume is a smart TV. I don't know if you can see a model number back there, but I can't. But uh, let's see here. Okay, so this is a 2019 model. This is very new. That's an 8,000 model. This is very new. We actually have the same TV in a 65 uh, inch configuration, but the 70,000 series, which is one year older, 2018. Over here, you got your dual lamps, which don't work. Uh, okay, well, that's one thing to note. They do not work. Lamp heads are a little bit dirty, but they're mostly clean. A uh, nice wood back. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the bed real quick. Not the most comfortable. Very springy. Chair. Yeah. I might not be sitting in this. I might. They do have a dehumidifier, which is a good thought because it's very humid and, well, it's very humid here. So they have an air conditioning, which has an auto function, as well as a dehumidifier or humidifier. Set to 50%. Does a good job. I got in here a few minutes ago and it's at 65. So here's the interior room, and let's go to the reason why this room is so expensive at 50, whatever the heck it was per night. Open the door. See the L. And then there is the main attraction. You have one pool. Very long lazy river, the Atlantic, and it wouldn't be Myrtle Beach without a fight going on in the background. I'm not sure which motel that is, but I hear a lot of cackling and a lot of screaming. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's Myrtle Beach is kind of, eh. Got a lot of sketchy motels. I mean, this resort itself, rooms normally go between 49 and 70 per night. And on the weekends, it could be anywhere, depending on what week it is. But, uh, so, yeah, it, it, the motels, I, I, I booked one one night just to see what it was like. 30 bucks a night. Um, for 30 bucks a night in that building right there, the, that one, that one right there. And the tall one, this one with the blue doors. Um, wasn't actually bad, it was dirty. You know, it, it's kind of the standard Myrtle Beach dirty, but uh, there's the beach. And uh, this was room 
617 Landmark Resort. I'll put the link in the description. This is bookable on Airbnb. 51 bucks a night. Um, for four nights, came out to 336 bucks. Uh, not bad for a beachfront. So, and the owners, uh, great communication from the owners of this unit. I would recommend it if you are on a budget here, which I am. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and that's it.